Aquarius and this is a reading for March for you and it's taking into consideration that beautiful uh, new moon in Pisces energy that's flowing through which is very much that you're energetically ready to achieve your goals and your dreams yeah it's kind of beautiful so whenever you're watching this is the most perfect time for you if you're new to my channel big welcome and those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome uh, if you enjoy my videos just make sure to subscribe to my channel so that my videos come through to you in your feed you get notified of when they're coming out so let's dive in Aquarius we're going to pull beautiful opening energy from the heart and soul deck and uh, if you're interested in checking out my beautiful artwork there's some below this video uh, I'll also put a link down below to my website and um, I will just ask a teeny teeny favor of you uh, my website my Elysium Gallery website's been nominated for the World E-commerce Awards so if you'd like to vote for me and help me out I'll put a link on here I'd be much appreciated it doesn't take very long all right let's see what you need to know Aquarius all right this one's flying out Oh, there's a couple here in this embrace just looking at each other with the star above their heads. It says, within each of us there is a masculine and feminine aspect and in order to have perfect harmony, these two aspects should be equally balanced. So with our masculine, positive and judgmental side is equally balanced with our feminine, ne negative and compassionate side, we're in perfect alignment with our true nature. To achieve this balance, we must embrace, love and value both the positive and negative sides of our nature. It's kind of interesting that they're talking about the masculine and feminine energies in this way. Um, because to me, this is kind of what the message that's coming through here is the shadow side of self and the light side of self, which is facing our shadow side, but balancing out aspects. But traditionally, the, ma the masculine feminine energy, our masculine energy is our protector. It's our getting things done energy. It's our going after our goals and dreams. Our feminine energy, whether you're a guy or a girl, is our creativity, our innovation, our inner child, our emotional side, that softer side. Yeah. So balancing both of those. All right, let's have a look at four key aspects of focus for you in terms of what's coming towards you. Using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Oh, this is super interesting. You thought seeing the truth in the storm has came out in exactly the same position for Pisces. So if you connect it to a Pisces, you might be going through this together. So whatever challenges you're going through right now, it's about really looking into those and going, how am I contributing? Where, how am I showing up? Um, looking at things from another person's perspective as well as your own. Oh, you've also got happiness here. These beautiful dolphins diving out of the water. So increased happiness in your life um, is a beautiful positive energy coming through here. But what's happening here is I can see there's a contrast. Some of you have gone through something quite challenging recently, but you're, it's opening up to more happiness. There's also this beautiful sense of pleasure here. So taking time out is a beautiful garden. Uh, connecting with nature, just connecting with the beauty of life. Mm. And the ability to attract and manifest miracles in your life. So beautiful. Hasn't been an easy time for you, Aquarius. I can see that here. And yet there is so much happiness and blessings coming your way. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at seeing the truth in any storms in your life. Hmm. For some of you, it's around your energy, doing way too much and you take some time out for rest, spirit saying, physically it's affecting you. Oh, wow. Because you've got this beautiful cornucopia coming in, blessings on every level. Mm -hmm. happy, happy, stable family, I'm going to say. Beautiful relationships or ability to attract those. Abundance coming your way. A lot of fulfillment from your projects is coming out. Yeah, you're going to have a major victory, my loves, after a big, big storm in your life. Major victory. 
and there's an attachment here so spirit's saying or oh, there was an attachment to you but you're going to have victory over it so it's about releasing it she's taken off a mask so often we have to also really look at ourselves and go how do we show up what am what am i being triggered by um what do i need to release from self i've been carrying around like a chain around my wrist for a long long time how do we form attachments often through negative life experiences that have happened to us that imprint on our soul and our emotions and our emotional body yeah um, in terms of attachment you got the message to live in the present moment do not recycle through the past appreciate how amazing you are all right let's have a look at happiness mm. part of your happiness is walking away from things that no longer serve you And you've got a thinking man here. So, guys, being very balanced, rational, can certainly represent a love interest. Yeah, and you've absolutely got this big positive shift in energy, the sun coming out. Renewed hope, optimism, your plan's working out perfectly. Let's have a look at pleasure. you got healer of the ages here. So a couple of messages. Some of you have been doing quite a lot of work around self-work, alternative therapies, meditation groups, all that kind of stuff to create this beautiful sense of peace and balance within yourself. You've been on a big healing journey. When we go on a big healing journey, right, we become who we naturally are. Yeah, We, re we release and shed all of the things that have bound us up in terms of old stuff. Some of you are gifted as a healer. And you've also got envy here. So there's a bit of lack going on. And Spirit's saying you need to walk away from any feelings of lack. Some of you it's around poverty consciousness because you've got these beautiful blessings that want to come into your life. And you've got your solar plexus chakra here. So there's a need for you to build up your life force energy, which is why you need to take some time out, Aquarius. Mm. you've also got hostilities here so the energies of others towards you so envy can also be the energies of others uh you know it kind of indicates to me what kind of storm you've been going through um all right let's have a look at this envy oh, you got the journey card so you're on this beautiful journey of personal happiness healing can remain travel so if it is the energies of others you're not gonna let it affect you and the hostilities are related to the root chakra. So it can be around something financial with someone else. Yeah, because there's a, another storm warning here. So don't ignore things where people are being hostile towards you around money. You need to stand up for yourself, yeah, or sort the situation out. And spirit is absolutely watching over you and protecting you at this time with this energy. Um, you know, take that message if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, then just leave it. All right, let's have a look at miracles. Mm, Spirit's saying you just got to trust your intuition on what feels right for you. Choices, decisions, paths you want to follow. You've also got woman holding a heart here. So there can be a miracle in love. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, after having a broken heart. Yeah, there's a miracle coming to you related to love. And you've got the world here. So there's certainly the aspect of travel. Some of you may meet someone that's not from the same country as you. They're quite different. you just got to rely on your strength at this time, Spirit's saying. Let's have a look at this broken heart. Again, you, you got your intuition twice sitting right next to each other. Spirit's saying whatever's going on for you in relation to relationships, love relationships, or things that have happened in the past around love relationships, you were spot on. You need to trust yourself. Don't let people talk you out of it yeah, and say that it's all made up in your head. You were spot on. You're the angel of love coming. For those of you that are single that have gone through a really challenging time in love, for people that have really hurt your heart chakra, you got a miracle coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, you got man holding a coin, but he's come out with deceit. So whether you're a guy or a girl, because you can flip this, right, is that I'm going to say to you this energy is related over here. So it's certainly related to your finances. Um, 
And guys, it can be, you know, you may have gone through a love relationship where you've lost a lot of your financial assets out of it. Girls, um, I'm going to say the same kind of thing to you as well, really. Yeah, it's interesting they're sitting on the bottom of the deck. Which means it's an energy that's passed, but you may still be dealing with the after effects of that, yeah. All right, let's squeeze some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at this top row about seeing the truth in the storm. Having victory over it, massive victory over it. Mm, you've got Coventina purification. There's absolutely a need to cleanse and release attachments to self because don't forget we've got attachments here. Cutting the cords and ties. Spirit's saying doing things creatively are going to really take your mind off it, whether it's music or arts. It's really going to help boost you up. Let's have a look at happiness, which is a lot of walking away from stuff that doesn't serve you, being very balanced, big positive shift in energy. You've got a star of fertility, perfect time to kick off any new ideas or projects that you've got, particularly creative ideas. And to do your spiritual practices, yeah, uh, to tap into that side of self. It's going to be very soothing for your energies. Let's have a look at pleasure. Some of you is uh, travel, possibly going on a holiday. You've got this energy here of uh, hostility. You've got white tower sensitivity. Some of you feeling a little bit emotionally vulnerable, quite sensitive to the energies of others, which means you need to put a little buffer and layer of protection around yourself. Spirit saying you just got to be bold, take risks, be daring, go after what it is that you want. Don't worry about the opinions and judgments of others. Just be very kind and compassionate with yourself and others, but mostly with yourself. Let's have a look at this miracle. Tara saying love coming in. Oh, darlings, you've absolutely got a true love coming in. Beautiful. You got to take a leap of faith. Spirit saying don't. Let whatever's happened hold you back. It's an amazing true love coming in. Just watch your energy levels here. Yeah? Take time out when you need to. On the bottom of the deck you've got is our undying love, right? You've also got the justice card. Oh, my God, you've also got a miracle sitting here, right? So there will be justice here. Spirits were absolutely watching your back. When we get the undying love card, it means that the love you shared wasn't wasted no matter how it turned out because things can always start off really well, right? But sometimes at the end of a relationship, there's so much drama and bitterness and stuff that can go on when we are trying to get our needs met. We don't get our needs met and all sorts of behaviours go on, right? Everybody loses in that situation. Both sides lose. Yeah, they do. Um, but Spirit's saying don't beat yourself up about the choices you've made in love if this is if this applies to you, um, just let it go and move on. Release it, yeah. Justice is absolutely coming in, my loves. Mm, karmic justice, yes, yeah, divine justice. All right. <laughs> Let's put some guidance from the uh, crystal healing deck. Mm, you got new might healer. Some of you definitely are a healer. Or spirit saying you need to seek a healer just to release these final attachments to yourself. Yeah, and you need to ground and balance your energy. You've been through a lot, Aquarius. You need to balance your energies. Let's have a look at happiness. Yeah, you've got meditation that's come out sitting right over sacred space. I will link in the guided meditation playlist um, that's on my YouTube channel. There's about 100 in there, right? It'd be really good for you to do the ones that are related to cutting cords and attachments to self. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Watley does some really good ones, as does Kenneth Soares. So go and look those ones up. All right, this is about pleasure. And you got the message that you've absolutely got success coming, but you need to boost your energy up. For some of you, if you want to go traveling, go on a holiday by yourself, absolutely do it. It's totally supported here, right? Just to get away from the gnarly energies that have happened that have been so challenging for you. Uh, yeah, you'll absolutely have this beautiful success with the personal growth and transformation you're going through. All right, let's have a look at your miracle over here of true love. Oh, yeah. Everything's leading you to this beautiful state of peace. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Aquarius. Oh, my God, darlings. On the bottom of the deck, you've got abundance coming in. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. 
Mm, you got follow the moon, which is watching the lunar cycles. They may significantly affect you. Also trust in your intuition. You got a message to trust in magic. The spirit is watching over you that they're helping bring beautiful blessings into your life. To embrace the masculine, step into your personal power, your empowerment. Do not play the victim. You're not a victim in your own life, right? Step into your strength. All right, let's have a look at the chakra balance, which I've got to say. Why do you keep your chakras here? Yeah, you've got your root chakra here. So there's certainly a focus on your sense of security, stability, your finances. Creativity's come out for you again. Big message for you to do creative stuff. And your crown chakras come out, which means you need to elevate yourself from your lower chakras up to your higher chakras. Some of you are stuck in worry, emotional stuff, worrying about your basic sense of security, stability. You've got to lift yourself up. All right, let's have a look at who you're connected to in the spirit realm, your divine gifts and talents. Oh, some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. Yeah. Some of you are going to discover you've got some beautiful healing talents within you. Oh, you've also pulled God. So um, absolutely watching over you at this time, very connected, whether you believe in God or not, you know, it's that energy there. Oh, and here it is, divine justice. Oh, my God, darlings, whatever's happened here. <laughs> I can only just say, darlings, everything's going to turn out in your favour. <laughs> in the end, it will. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's have a look at your life path. Oh, see, you've got the art of healing. It's come out three times. There you go. It's coming through very strongly. You're highly creative. Oh, my God, that's the third or fourth time that's come out. And you're a builder, which is beautiful. So what does this mean? You have the ability to think of an idea run with it, create a business idea around it, you know, or, or you know, a money funnel around it. Builder can also represent construction for those of you that like to build things, but you're absolutely got that ability to create things out of nothing, really, except your ideas. All right, let's put you some guidance from your healing angels. This will be super interesting, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, it says, do it now. Don't put it off any longer. Have courage, listen to your intuition, for it is the guiding voice of your soul. And surrender. There is no point pushing the barrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There's an easier way when the time is right, a new path will appear. So if you're trying to force things, rush things, it's really saying stop, Aquarius, step back, take some time out for self, recenter, balance yourself. And imagine, clearly visualize the life you want, feel it in your heart and soul, and so it sh shall come to be, which is kind of beautiful. We always co-create that, yeah. All right, going to pull you a beautiful crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. And I haven't done this in a long while, but I'm actually going to share the message with you um, because I think it can just be so uplifting. Uh-huh. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Oh, you've pulled the winged pegasus of air. All right, let's find you the message, my loves. It says, Pegasus, the winged spirit and spiritual master of the element of air, brings sacred signals that you're entering a fresh phase of freedom, opportunity, unimpeded progress and expansion. After a period of emotional upheaval or physical stagnancy, here is the power to unlearn patterns and integrate one's experiences to evolve and create in new and beneficial ways. The gifts of this blessing including awakening to clear perspectives, expansion and into greater realms of endeavour and success and the ability to commit to tasks that honour your soul. Significant improvements can now be attained if you're willing to try. And you might have felt blocked by obstacles but you're actually in a spiritual holding pattern meant to keep you safe until you were strong enough to move forward whilst maintaining your centre. And that time has come. Test your wings, trust that you have the inner resourcefulness and intuitive ability to sense the subtle truths and find your way into freedom. 
Your intuition can be enhanced as you detach emotionally and allow your perception to become increasingly astute. And you will understand any issues that are troubling you from a higher perspective. Feel renewed enthusiasm and trust that a loving pathway into freedom is destined for you. An influ influential and liberating cycle is at hand. Wow. There's so much here about healing change going on in your life. Uh, brand new beginnings, gorgeous love coming in, you know, cornucopia, you've got the sun all over your reading, so beautiful, my loves. All right, those are your messages, love to your feedback, your comments down below, I'm always in there answering comments in the community, join our community if you like, hit that subscribe button, take it easy, my loves, for now, much love, much light, namaste.